Hello and welcome back to Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I, Calder Ness, your host, am building out of Captain America and the Avengers. And Simeon is building out of Justice League Unlimited. This is a 500-point game. Uh, we are playing on Tabletop Simulator Mod by I Never Win, updated by all the nice fellows over on Discord. Link in the description below to join the Discord and check out Tabletop Simulator. Simeon, why don't you start off by... This will be pretty quick. Like we said, it's a 500-point game, a lot of low-point figures. Speed run through the team, one or two nifty things they can do. Uh, and just, yeah, keep it, uh, keep it yeah. fast. First up. On Team Justice League Unlimited, it is Booster Gold, the man of tomorrow, if you will. Uh, he has six range, two lightning bolt. He's got in cap with knockback. He's got barrier as free, but only to generate two, as well as costed barrier. And then he's got a special damage power, his first four clicks, that's perplex prob. And when he uses perplex to target himself, he can modify a combat value plus two, as long as it's not damage. And you can't even use perplex for damage anymore, so why is that even there? Uh, let me zoom in on these a little bit better. So in, in case you want to pause it and look at their dial a little bit more. Um, right. I'm playing Batman Beyond at 75 points. He's got improved targeting through hindering. He's got boom tube travel, which is a shared trait through several of the boom tubers. Uh, some apocalypse, some just people, I guess, like Batman Beyond. Um, he has a trait, multi-spectrum camouflage. Opposing characters can't draw a line of fire to Batman Beyond if he's adjacent to blocking terrain, which is pretty good. Uh, he's got a special attack power that lets him... He gives him free precision strike, and then as a free action, he can choose either blades, energy explosion, end cap, poison, or smoke cloud, and then he has a special damage power on three of his clicks on his bottom dial, his first one and his last two, and that is leadership and then free, he can pick close combat expert, perplex, outwit, or shape change. Why we would ever pick perplex in that situation instead of close combat expert, I don't know, but it's an option. Uh, next up is Dr. Fate times six, I believe. Uh, so I've got one at 65 points, that's his whole duplicates of myself throughout time and space. And then we've got five additional ones at 10 points. So that is because uh, skipping forward for all characters with this trait, since I have five or more characters, I get action total plus two, which including my leadership that uh, Batman Beyond has will give me plus three to my action total. And in a 500 point game, that'll give me f eight actions in one turn. Pretty good. Uh, That's a lot. Someone That's else, a lot. With, someone else with leadership on the team. Stripe, he has sidestep. Uh, starts with a stop click. That's defend invuln. Uh, he's got Justice League Unlimited trait, which is the D6 roll, and then he's got passing along years of experience, which is leadership perplex unique modifier. When he uses leadership and succeeds this turn, when he uses perplex to target another friendly character, he can instead modify a combat value, except damage by plus mm. two. Thank God. Mm perplexing damage by plus two would just be broken <laughs> under the new rules uh, uh next up is current my rules. super dedicated taxi to the team 65 mm. point common green lantern he has seven range 12 speed but he's got a special so he's got the justice league unlimited trait which a lot of them do it's uh beginning of your turn roll a d6 it's like a weird leadership on a six you remove an action token from another friendly character with a Justice League keyword that's 100 points or less, which is all of them. So each one with this trait gets to roll, and then I can just pick somebody that succeeded and remove it from someone. Uh, but his whole thing is he's got the Green Lantern core team ability. He's got Justice League team ability, so that already gives him a plus one to speed for move actions. But then he's also got this special speed power that is all aboard, move, Green Lantern can carry regardless of wing symbol. What a cool power. How innovative. Carry regardless of wing symbol. Great. That's not just the new rules. And modifies speed plus one for each character carried that with the JLA team ability. Ooh. So you can move up to his speed value. So because I have, well, because I have six Dr. Fates with the Justice League team ability... I have Stripe with Justice League team ability. 
I have Booster Gold with it. He's going to be, uh, Adam and Micron both have it. He's always going to be at a 15 speed when he carries. So Man, I, I hate that. Actually pretty solid. Next up is Amazo, who thankfully breaks the theme that would have been Justice League. Such an easy theme to make, and 40-point Amazo here just snuck in and ruined it for everyone. Um, no team-up cards Ooh, because yeah. because the, the multiples of Dr. Fate, I'm not allowed to play any team-up cards. Um, he has power adaption. Ap- adaptation, not adaption, but same thing. Mm. Uh, mm. Adaptation. Uh, at the beginning of my turn, I get to choose... A character within four squares and line of fire and up to two standard powers that character can use. Um, The rest is just he gets to pick more if he's over the point value that I picked him at. And then he's got an invincible android body. Amazo takes a maximum of one damage when attacked by a character that can use a power other than willpower that Amazo can use. He can't be healed, equipped, or chosen for mastermind. So I can use that... um, well, of course, it's it's just pick a power. So I can pick from my own characters, but I can also pick from Calder's characters if they're within right. four. And then if I do have matching powers that match one of his characters, I'm taking a max of one damage. So a little bit extra life there. Next up is the Atom for 40 points. What does this guy do? Well, he's got Justice League oh, Unlimited geez. Trait. He's got White Dwarf Star Belt. Cool. Free. I choose an adjacent character with standard damage symbol until your next turn. The chosen character has tiny da- symbol and oh, if they are adjacent to the atom. So you make somebody small. That's good. Uh, riding along undetected is a special speed power. Leap climb stealth when an adjacent f- uh, character is given a move or power action. After resolutions, you may place the atom adjacent to that character. And then he has perplex and outwit on his top clicks. Nifty. Unlike the Atom, Micron here is standard size. Oh, wait, he has a trait called size alteration. Sidestep free, choose tiny or colossal symbol. Micron has the chosen symbol until your next turn. Colossal's actually pretty good, other than being able to get shot. Uh, looks, He's got a trait that looks like I'll have to answer this distress call power. If Micron is colossal symbol, place him adjacent to an opposing character that damaged another friendly character since your last turn. This action is free instead if that character was KO'd. So watch out there, Calder, if you KO my, oh, okay. my okay. Uh, fade clones. He's got a third trait called Hitchhiker. When Micron is tiny symbol and an adjacent character is given a move or power action, after resolutions, you may place Micron adjacent to that character. Wow, so similar. Uh, he's got charge. He's got a special damage power called Close Combat Expert and Power Enhancement. I don't care what it's called. It gives him both of the wow. damage increasers as well as yeah, his own yeah, close it's... combat expert. So between Dr. Fates and Micron, anybody that takes a shot, like a ranged attack, which is Stripe, Batman Beyond, Booster Gold, Dr. Fate possibly, Amazo. Does Amazo not? Oh, he gets the... Uh, he gets... He can use the chosen powers and has the printed range value of that character until he chooses again. Okay. So he will also potentially have range. And then my Green Lantern even has seven range. They'll all be blasting for capped damage if I position correctly. But that's that's Team Justice. Oofta. Oofta. All right. Well, let's go over to Team America, starting yeah. with the, the Shield Agent. Justice. Here, uh, not true. Uh, he is going to start on click 10. Uh, he has free. Choose an adjacent friendly character, the shield keyword, and a standard speed power they can use, except hypersonic speed. Uh, the shield agent can use the chosen power until your next turn. Pretty simple. He also has espionage that gives him stealth and improved movement hindering and targeting. So he's going to start on click 10 with that energy explosion. Next up, we have the captain. Has the living legend trait actually lots of people have the living legend trait so i'll read it for you now the first time each game the captain would be ko'd instead turn him to his last non-ko click roll a d6 and heal him equal to half the result protect the pulse wave pretty cool his trait is i can represent the american dream without being a government agent at the beginning of the game choose one to last this game the captain loses the soldier keyword and gains the marvel team ability of your choice that isn't uncopyable 
or the captain can't have his combat values modified by their characters and can't have his attack rolls re-rolled. I'm going to go with the latter one. So this game, the captain can't have his combat values modified by other characters and can't have his attack rolls re-rolled is what I'm going with. Next up, we have another Steve Rogers in the form of, yeah, that's right, you guessed it, Steve Rogers. He has the Avengers Assemble trait. We'll go ahead and read that for everybody else that has it also on this team. So once per turn, when Steve Rogers hits, after resolutions, you may roll a d6. On a 5 through 6, if your force has three or more friendly characters with the Avengers keyword, remove an action token from Steve Rogers or give an action token to a hit target. If your force has six or more, do both. Pretty cool. Uh, he also... Uh, give somebody either shield or avengers keyword there's only one character who's 50 points or less that i can give that keyword to and so that's going to be the shield agent so we're going to make him an avenger he's also a living legend which is pretty darn nifty next up we have captain america 39 the falcon also has avengers assemble also has living legend he's got some super senses and toughness he's pretty nifty that's the falcon next up we have the fast Forces Winter Soldier, he's going to be at 50 points. He also has the Avengers Assemble trait. He also has the trait Reposition after the shot. When the Winter Soldier makes a ranged combat attack, after resolutions, move him up to three squares. Pretty fun. I think that's pretty pretty nifty of the Winter Soldier, you know? Uh, we also have the Ultra Chase Peggy Carter. She also has the Living Legend trait. Uh, she has the sideline active trait, which we don't have to pay attention to because she's on the main force. And then she has a trait where she makes Becky Barnes, the toughest girl in Brooklyn. So she starts the game, she generates a Becky Barnes. You can see what Becky does huh. right there at the bottom of her card. You know, this character reminds huh. me of a a really good run that Captain America had uh, where him and it might have been Bucky Barnes. No! Or maybe it was Paladin. No. They, they dressed yeah, yeah. up like ladies yeah. for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> to blend in because they were on a boat full of supervillain uh, sure. super yeah it made sense it's to blend in yeah. it made sense it made more sense in cap wolf all right it made Probably. more sense in cap wolf Probably. all right let's yeah uh next up we have baron zemo this was a dealer's choice on whichever baron zemo i wanted so i had to make sure i went with my man uh heinrich zemo the og here so he has assembled Bolts and Masters, which works just like um, Avengers assembled, whatever, except it only works on Thunderbolts or Masters of Evil keyworded characters. So uh, sadly, I think we only have, yeah, Bucky is our only other Thunderbolt, so this trait will not be popping off. He has another trait called Captain America, my mortal foe. Opposing characters that can use leadership or combat reflexes modify attack negative two when attacking Zemo, which is pretty solid. And then he has Adhesive X spread across the city and the heroes. When beginning a move, opposing characters modify their speed negative one and decrease their breakaway rolls negative one for that move, unless they're occupying hindering or water terrain. Uh, so that'll take at least, oh no wait, except this is one negative one modifier to the plus eight modifier Green Lantern has. So I guess it doesn't matter that much. Never mind. Pardon me. I'll show myself on the way out. Of course, the new Masters of Evil uh, team ability is, what was that? Oh, like yeah. Hydra at close, yeah, right? It's for close attack. Is that yeah, what it does now? Stamina. Yeah. It now gives Hydra you, for close. Uh, any adjacent character attacking a opposing negative character one. gets a, the opposing character gets a negative one to defense for masters of negative evil. one defense yeah all right nice next up from the v battalion we have citizen v who is also a living legend so he's got that and then he has peak human conditioning which is traded sidestep and toughness which is just a really cool trait that i really enjoy uh last and certainly not least we have war machine here so he can make ranged combat attacks while adjacent to opposing characters he also has the assembled avengers trait then he has the minigun target lock trait when war machine hits after resolutions you may give a hit character a target lock token then remove all other target lock tokens and then he has free make a range attack using war machines printed attack and damage values but only to target the character with a target lock token he also has perplex but only to target himself very cool war machine thank you this team is made up of all soldiers so it is a soldier themed team and i won map and after all of that we finally get to take the first turn wow so in case you guys weren't counting at home steve rogers has leadership 
Zero thirty nine Captain America has leadership. Peggy Carter has leadership. Baron Zemo has leadership, and Citizen V has leadership, which is pretty cool. So, so how many extra actions do you we're going to? Uh, a whole plus one, so we have six oh. whole actions. Thank you, Simeon. Huh. Yeah, I get, a, I get a plus three, Calder. <laughs> oh, very cool. I uh, we're gonna have it, Becky Barnes, the toughest girl in Brooklyn, uh, sidestep to there for right now. Next up, we're going to have. Uh, let's see, Peggy and the captain move up. Yeah, we'll, we'll slap them out pretty pretty far, I would say. Be two actions. Let's have the shield little uh, little shield guy choose sidestep from Steve Rogers. Let's go ahead and have War Machine fly carrying Bucky. This is actually a really interesting War Machine will go ahead because perplex up his own defense with War Machine. The assembled Avengers can token my team. I have Justice League on most of my guys, so I can potentially untoken them and then i've got some decent like numbers but calder's team most of them have that living legend so even if i can ko somebody right off the bat they don't just go away very interesting we're gonna sidestep the sidesteppy boys we're going to have steve rogers perplex up sam wilson's defense here go ahead we'll fly out sam let's see at Sam there. We'll have him carry uh, the good Baron here. Do do do. Yeah, we perplexed up Sam. We perplexed up War Machine. We'll have Winter Soldier perplex up his own defense. Steve Rogers move. Okay, can't go that far, so I'll go there. Citizen V, go there. That's one, two, three, four actions. Hmm. Hmm. And it's your go, Simeon. All right. Uh, I have no reason to roll for anything, but I might want to pick powers with Amazo. So choose a character within four squares now the choices are I've got like impervious if I get up in these guys' grill I've got ESD from my own team I have just a just a complete smorgasbord of crazy stuff I can pick on my own team um, and then Batman Beyond also has some free choose one until my next turn. So alternatively, I could choose one of the free powers with Batman Beyond and then pick that combo with good old uh, Amazo, which might be what I do because I could I could take like shape change and. Well, it's at the beginning of your turn for a maze, though. So unless oh, is it also at the beginning of your turn for Batman no, the Animated or for so, whatever? So I would have oh, okay. to do it like next yeah. turn is how that would work. So a maze, since it's the beginning of my turn, I don't have a lot of great options. Has to be a standard power, and it's going to be coming from one character. So I guess we're taking Doctor Fate's. ESD, and we'll go with enhancement because I don't have enough of that. So amazing, amazing yes. choices! Wow, great, great stuff. Damn. Now, now we just play the repositioning game uh, so that Green Lantern can take as many people as possible. So let's have Stripe. We'll have Stripe sidestep. We'll go. One, two, carrying this Doctor Fate to here. And 
Now all I need is one more person next to him. Who should it be? Let's do Batman Beyond. We'll have Batman Beyond move to here. Is a move action. And then we're going to be carrying everybody somewhere. Uh, before I do that, I think Batman Beyond will take his damage power matter. So he's going to take, uh, let's go shape change, just because that seems like the best option. Uh, his free attack power, he might as well take poison, because it does not matter really. Okay. Um, poison. Let's see here. I can get most places on the map. There is a wall there, so I'm going to have to go a little out of my way one direction or the other. Uh, but 15 <clears throat> squares will let me go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh no, you can get to Becky Barnes, <laughs> the toughest girl in Brooklyn. Yeah, pretty much. I can, I can get behind like War Machine and some other people. So now I just have to determine who is worth taking out first. Because I think War Machine's my biggest threat. Um, maybe that Winter Soldier? Yeah, I think I think that top line is my bigger threat than that bottom one. So let's see how I'm going to have to go about this. There's an opening in the wall right there. So I can do... That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can get to this square like right behind him. Uh, can you place every character adjacent though? No. So that's that's true. Let me double check. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, I I definitely have the reach. I was undercutting myself. So there's that Doctor Fate is square one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So yeah, because of all of the JLA that I'm carrying, I'm quite oh able to get all the way. I can actually get to this. Square, what? But, uh, what a shame, I shall say. What a shame. Uh, let's see how easily I can highlight everyone. Eh? Maybe. We'll try this. We'll go... Hit. Uh, oh, God. oh, there they go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, that was like that. Okay. All right. Uh, not quite. You didn't quite get them in the exact. Uh, so, this isn't quite what lop. I'm doing because. Yeah, I know. You got to rearrange them, of course. Adam and Micron aren't going along for the ride yet. Um, before I do that, they have free actions they have to take anyhow uh so micron is taking his free to be tiny and then the atom is he makes somebody else tiny he's yeah, already tiny so he doesn't have to make, totally worry about that he'll make that dr fate tiny sure okay <laughs> what does it matter? okay um this action belongs to batman beyond who will probably stay right there um I already sidestepped my stripe, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to carry these guys. We're going to place like so, and that'll be an action, one single action for my green lantern here. Uh, and then... I really 
don't have. So Batman picked... Uh, he picked the one thing. I guess he picked shape change. Stripe probably could have used perplex, so he should have rolled his leadership because of that. But he will Stripe will perplex up his own defense, and then okay. Well, before before I do that, I guess I would have had to do that before. But um, so the Adam and Micron are gonna do their their fun fun thing. Uh, when an adjacent character is given a move or power action after resolutions, I can place Adam adjacent. And then after resolutions, same thing with Micron because he has Tiny. Yeah. I've never actually played this combo, although I've seen it played a lot. So I'm assuming that what basically happens is Micron boosts the Adam's damage. And then they both attack. So the Adam having perplex and outwit. Um, yeah, I just get placed so I can actually do everything that I need to before I attack. Uh, mm -hmm. Sweet. So we will outwit um War Machine's defense and perplex his defense down. Okay. And he's back down to an 18. Naked 18. The Adam rocking a 10 for 2. 10 for 3 because of Micron's power. Uh, let's take the swing with Micron first, who's a 12 for 4. Okay. That seems like a more reliable number. I guess we'll prob that with War Machine. Keep two left. A 17 nice. will miss. I will miss. And then all I can do is have the Atom attempt to punch. I guess we'll prob that with Winter Soldier. We have one left. No, that'll also miss. Nice. So nice. That's two more actions. I'm up to. That's four of my eight possible actions that I can take this turn. Very cool. Which is just real fun to say out loud. Uh, not quite as silly as having six in a 300 point game, but uh, let's see. I had them backwards. So it's the atom was on the inside. Close. There we go. Um, that leaves the guys in back. So Booster Gold has 10 speed with Perplex and JLA. So a standard move action, he can go 11 because of JLA. With Running Shot, he can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then he has a super solid 6 range. No. No nobody um unless i use his perplex by two and even then that's two four seven squares and then shooting two three four five six so no there's no there's no way i'm i'm getting there with him this turn so Think. I think we're just going to move this Dr. Fate to here. Because we might as well have everyone grouped up there. And that'll be all I do this turn. Uh, let me double check. Uh, Booster Gold will double perplex his own defense. Because he does have perplex... Um, Stripe perplexed his defense. Amazo picked a Doctor Fate to copy. The f what was it? Mm. Phasing and, or no enhancement and uh, energy shield. And then Micron is tiny. He used his perplex and outwit. And Green Lantern carried. Yeah, that's everything I can do. Oh wait. Except Stripe 
no booster booster gold has barrier for free to generate two markers great look at this super solid not getting in that amazing way. beautiful Mast, masterful strategy here. All right, cool, fantastic. Uh, first off, let's do a Aaron Zemo leadership. Let's do a Falcon leadership. No. Let's do a Peggy leadership. Haha, <laughs> nice. Let's do a Steve Rogers leadership. There we go. We got one of them. Take that off, Citizen V. And uh, Citizen V has leadership as well, so we'll do Citizen V leadership. Okay, cool. Take it off, Steve Rogers. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, toughest girl in Brooklyn. Head step. There. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, let's see what all do we have. We can sidestep this guy to here. Good. Uh, Citizen V, does he even need to sidestep? One, two, three, four, five. Get Citizen V where he needs to go. He will need the sidestep. He only has eight speed. Okay. Oh, Citizen V also had willpower. Anybody else have willpower before we do any wacky stuff? I do not think so. No one else has willpower. All right, sweet. Uh, we will sidestep Citizen V. Two to here. We're going to have Captain America, a.k.a. Old Man Steve Rogers, perplex up Citizen V's attack value. And we'll have Citizen V charge to here. Going against wow. Stripe. Wow. Wow. Blades in it? Wow. Yeah. You know we're blades in it. Alright. Ooh, that is a 10. That will hit. Okay. Four. Um. Oh no. Booster Gold's my prob, so I do not have any prob on that, so. For Hi, enough blades, to baby. Kill Stripe right off the bat. It is in v, v V. The V Battalion. Starting off strong. That's what I like to see. It's my first action. It's good stuff. Let's go ahead. Uh, War Machine plucks up his own attack value. Uh, the Winter Soldier can actually not see Micron. He's tiny, so we cannot perplex Micron down. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and perplex tiny. up. So you can see. Yeah, they're both there. tiny. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, I believe so. Well, wouldn't one tiny and then one standard pinch the line to another tiny, or is that not? I mean, is that Dr. not how that Fate works? Can Who see knows? Both of these guys over them. So I would imagine. That, that is true. Like, yeah, I guess yeah. I would be able to see. Yeah. Like Green yeah. Lantern okay. can see over both. Yeah, so we'll perplex we down. See. We'll perplex down Micron's defense with the Winter Soldier, and we're gonna have uh, War Machine just go ahead and punch Micron for right now. So it'll be a twelve for four on an eighteen. Uh, that will hit. Hits a Baby. nineteen. Uh, let's roll good old superest senses here. Ah, oh, that'll do six. it. Six. Um, a Justice League. War Machine did not six. hit with the rain. Did not Let's see. Yeah, he did not hit, so he does not get to roll for Avengers assembled or anything like that. So he'll get a pushed token. Okay, I want to make some more things happen here. Let's go ahead. Bucky, Bucky, Bucky. I guess we have Bucky try to punch. Yeah, we'll have Bucky try to punch the... What's it called? The Micron guy. So that'll be an 11 to a perplex down 17. Or a 18 perplex down to a 17. Ooh, that will miss. I think we'll let that one stand for Buck for right now. Good. Not a fan of that, to be honest with you. Let's see. What else can we do? Not a fan of the Amazos. Uh, Amazos. Dr. Fates, not a fan of them either. Zima, one, two, three, four. 
and the good Baron do. Eight speed. Two, three, four to there. I draw a line. I can draw a line. Okay. To more fates, which is like, but why? Why go so uh, far out of my way for fates? <laughs> Especially to shoot at a yeah. 19 defense. Yeah. Especially, yeah, to shoot at a 19 defense is not not great. It's 10 points. I mean. Yeah, I don't. I really don't like these 19 defenses. Falcon does not shoot close. Got a lot of rangy boys right now, so let's go ahead. Amazo is also a 19, right? He chose uh, Dr. Fate. Yeah, correct? so he's got ESD and Enhancement right now. It's a Falcon running shot. What is what Batman Beyond has? Shape change right now? Yes. Is that correct? Okay. And Stealth. Stealth. Is he, is is he in uh, stealth? Oh, he yeah. is. Sure enough. Okay. Yeah, let's have just... We're going to have Falcon running shot to here. Carrying Bucky. So we'll go ahead. Place him there. And we will shoot Micron. Wow. Alright, let me just double check that uh, Micron so... doesn't have stealth. Uh, Maybe that's... No, that's the Adam has stealth. So yeah, you're good. Okay. Um. Okay, that'll hit a seventeen. Easy and hindering. It'll pass through hindering. Uh, I guess I'll waste my last prob on that. I'm not crazy about it, but I do want to kill or attempts to kill Micron this turn. That will hit a twenty. So potentially for three damage. Okay, yes. so for three damage, three that's all right. Damage. Not gonna, not gonna kill him. Be it's my fourth action this turn. Not, uh, not terrible. I guess we really should have running shot farther back, but uh, left room for the good Baron. So, let's see, click whatever. Yeah, now he's just combat reflexes. Now it's easy to kill this guy. Falcon. Uh, he hit, so let's do Avengers Assemble. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, <laughs> that was you, not, you that rolled was too high. high. Um, forgot Micron's tiny, so he does have a plus one to range. But you that rolled true. pretty high anyhow. So. Uh, Avengers Assemble will fail. It's three. Yeah, five, six. Okay. Yeah, it would have been cool to give him a token. Um... One, two, three, four so far. Uh, Captain and Peggy will probably clear this turn. Let's move up five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can only go to here. Move him up to there. So that he can be next to Steve. And I guess we'll have Steve... Falcon did a double target. It's probably should have double targeted. That's okay. Eve used perplex. Winter Soldier used perplex. Okay. Yep. Sure enough. Let's. We got one shot. Oh, Baron Zemo running shot to here. Then I guess he'll shoot Adam. Then. Oh, we'll go for another crazy high. Okay. I think he hit. is in stealth. Because I think oh, yeah, that's right. Dr. Fate's right. there, it's going to come. Um, and then, yeah, I won't be able to see Micron from there, will I, right? Um, it's not. Yeah, I it'll go through yeah, Adam Square. Adam fell. Yeah. So. Look at Baron running shot, too. I really should have running shotted Falcon back to here and then Baron Zemo next, but we didn't do that correctly. That's okay. Um, one last thing. I want to do something sort of good. So let's just try to take down on these fates. Let's have Steve Rogers just once again try to roll a nine against this first fate here closest to uh, Falcon. See if Steve can take him out. Need a, need a nine. So I'm ridiculous. All right, cool. Yeah. 
clear Peggy and the captain. It is your go. All right. So at the beginning of the turn, uh, let's see. Amaza's options. I've got super senses, energy explosion with the shield agent. I have ESD perplex with Steve. I think we're going to do that. Amazo is going to copy Steve's four range and his energy shield and perplex combo. Uh, Steve has combat reflexes. Oh, that is not energy shield. Then we are going to pick. It has to be within four squares. So maybe I'll just stick with the fates because I really want that ESD. So I'm going to stick with the ESD hey. enhancement uh, combo. And then I've got. Justice League Unlimited. Justice League Unlimited. Uh, he's dead. Each fate has Justice League Unlimited. Booster Gold has Justice League Unlimited. So, and Batman has no Justice League Unlimited. So, I've got a lot of rolls to get through at the beginning. They only count on sixes. So, we'll go two at a time. We'll do Booster and the fate adjacent to him. Those are both fives. Nope. Uh, we'll do the two fates that are also in the starting area still. Those still don't count. We'll do uh, Adam and fate here. Okay. And then we'll do Green Lantern and fate here. None of these matter. I'm never going to make any of these. Uh, we'll do <laughs> The Last Doctor Fate. Because Batman Beyond doesn't This is it. it. So For all yeah. the money. Big money, big money, no whammies. Hey! hey! I get one. Um, who is even worth uh, taking off of? Probably Batman Beyond. Uh, yeah. Just has to be a character that's under 100 points with Justice League, I believe. Let me double check it real quick. Action token from another friendly character with Justice League keyword that's 100 points or less. So that's everyone but Amazo. Pretty decent. Um, now that that's all out of the way, I can move on to fun stuff. Let's see. I think Batman Beyond is going to pick... Oh, I also have leaderships. I should probably do those. So we'll do Batman Beyond's leadership. Okay, we'll take one off of Green Lantern. Um, mm -hmm. Who was the other dude? Stripe had leadership. Is that it? Does Booster Gold have it? No, Perplex Prob. It looks like it's just just Batman Beyond now then. Uh, so we'll take an additional token off of Green Man. Um, now we will, now that the end of the beginning of the turn is over, uh, Batman Beyond is going to pick... Well, he's a runny guy right now, so he's going to probably go with blades or I could do close combat expert and not have to worry about that because then I'd be at 12 for 4 so I could pick like poison doesn't matter but we could do that so we'll do we'll do blades and then I guess we'll stick with shape change for his defense okay um, alternatively, I could just shoot at Citizen V for four since Good. I'm next to an enhancement. Uh, so these barriers are going to go away for now. We are going to and do something like that. So we can go one, two, one, 
two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, we can, we can do it. Um, booster gold is gonna perplex a combat value other than damage. He'll go with defense because that makes the most sense. Um, then he's got in cap and knockback, but he's not gonna use that. So. Uh, the two Dr. Fates next to Booster Gold are going to... We'll have this one here, Phase carrying the other one. They'll land like this. My other Dr. Fate back here. So that's action one, action two. This Dr. Fate is going to TK within six squares of himself and line of fire. So something like to here. And make sure that can see... Booster gold. Yep. I think that might be one square away. It doesn't matter. We'll we'll TK him one square closer. We'll go right there. Uh, because then I have a five-speed running shot, and we're going to, to the surprise of no one, running shot to here, getting Ooh, that, okay. that sweet double enhancement. Uh, and we'll target... Does Baron Zemo have ESD? It's combat reflexes. Okay, we'll just punch a hole right through his weird purple sock head. Uh, okay, that hurts. An 18. Okay, for how much? Five? For five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no! Baron Demo's gone! Oh. No more Chemical X. Not that it mattered. With a very, very hot four, uh, wait, no, three actions I have now done. I only have yeah. five left for the turn, so. Yes, this is quite it's, not a fan. Very much it's not a fan. Be a very long turn. Um, I'm something of not a fan. Let's see. The Atom and Micron sidestep. I probably should have sidestepped. Uh, let's see. Adjacent to an opposing character damaged another friendly character. This action is free. Okay, we're going to do... Micron is going to go Colossal, which sadly has this chosen symbol until your next turn. I don't know if he ever gets to roll for his Colossal uh, willpower because you have it until your next turn. So yeah, you have to choose it. it. Yeah. yeah, because it's a free action. He'll pick Colossal, though, and he'll retaliate on Citizen V, and since it's a... Citizen V code right. an opposing character. Just free. So it's, it's just free. like a free to move, and then he yeah. can attack after. Yeah. I have a uh, close combat expert, so I'm an 11 for 3. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I have to be adjacent, so I can't do Colossal Reach. But yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, an 11 into an 18, I believe. Yep. All that'll hit or what? Three whole damage. One, two, because of toughness. All right, and then I'm gonna just uh, let me see. The atom can make someone tiny. Jason character given move or power action. I do have perplex and outwit. Yeah, I think we want to do some punching on War Machine, so the Atom's going to stay. Um, as action four, halfway through my action total this turn, uh, <laughs> uh, it's just Jeez. more and more ridiculous every time I think about it. It really uh, is, it really is. The Atom is just going to try and regular punch Citizen V. So he's an 11 for three again. Talking about the atom, the atom can't or punch Citizen Micron. V. Yeah, not right. Citizen no, it's a free to be placed. He doesn't get to then make an attack. He just gets to be placed. You do a costed attack after it. Uh, you just place him adjacent oh. to it. Uh, another friendly. Yeah. Oh, so that was my you attack. Just place this him. Action is free. Yeah. Why would you so power? You, yeah. Place him. Just to move him? No idea. That's <laughs> no real, idea. That's real bad. Um, but that's fine. Okay. 
So I, I already made my attack then. Uh, I just didn't give him the action yes. token until now. Um, the Atom will outwit the Invincible on War Machine and perplex okay. War Machine's defense down by one. We gotcha. will then... How do I want to slice this? Let's charge with Batman Beyond to here. I picked blades and shape change, so we'll go ahead and blades this roll if we hit. Um, he is a 11 into know, 17. a 17. Good. That'll just, That'll just hit. hit. Uh, and we'll roll blades on my two. For Ooh, five. Ouch. Not a fan. One, I have a two, theory about blades rolls, three, four, and I don't know if it's five. just me, but whenever I roll an attack and then I hit and go to roll my blades, I always pick whichever die rolled lower because I'm like, well, if that die rolled lower, statistically, it'll roll higher next time. <laughs> Interesting. How curious. It's not quite how it works, but it's just it's how I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. Next up, let's have Dr. Fate proper over here. Um, we'll have him take a shot at somebody. Let's shoot at... So that was action five. This will be action six. We'll shoot at uh, War Machine again. So he is a 10 for four is all? Yes. 10 for four, shooting through hindering, so it'll be need a seven to hit. No. And then... See, that was four or five. That was six. This will be seven. Amazo will attempt to blast. So he copied Dr. Fate, giving him a six range. He'll attempt to blast Steve Rogers, unless he's in stealth. Okay. No, I don't think so. Okay, so Amazo's a ten for five if he yeah. hits. Oh, uh, that'll miss. That'll miss by one. And what else do I got? Could just be a huge jerk and reposition everybody with my green lantern. Um, that would be kind of fun. But I don't really see anywhere that's better than where I'm at currently. Uh, let's have... So a mezo shot that was... What do we have? A move, a TK, booster gold. Micron was four. Batman Beyond was five. The Atom hasn't done anything this turn, but I don't see him doing anything super important. Um, Dr. Fate was six. Amazo was seven. So last action for this turn. My other Dr. Fate will take a shot at let's go after citizen v a 10 okay. for, yeah 10 yeah, for four mm -hmm. although i don't think his dials that deep Ooh, that will hit two three i'll ko him go to our last non-ko click living legend i'll give him a little shield token we know a living legend did. And let's roll our d6. Ooh, a one. Wow, cool. Should have hit it a few more times. Let's Click four see. now. I think that's everybody. A doctor, one doctor fate, and uh, the Adam 
are the only two that clear. Oh, cool. Let's do a Falcon leadership. Nope. Let's do a Steve Rogers leadership. Nope. Those two leaderships don't matter. So, yeah, this is where we're at right now. Cool, cool, cool. Very nifty. All right. So, yeah, we got some homies that are in our way. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. We need to make some attacks that count here. Good ones. Gotta sacrifice some people. We're gonna have the shield agent choose sidestep. Have him sidestep. Uh, Is this blocking right here? Oops. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it is. It looks like it is. That's okay. You would have just had to have booster gold here instead. Yeah, but it brings into it makes a problem for these guys down here too, because they're also in that. I didn't realize it. It just looked kind of orange, but. Oh yeah. Then I guess technically. We'll say it's. Yeah, I put my guy in blocking first. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I didn't even notice that. Didn't even notice that, to be honest with you. Weird. Some nice illegal moves right away. So, hopefully, the person who noticed that as soon as we didn't didn't like comment and be like instantly comment. Hopefully, they waited until the <laughs> end of the video. But if they're watching this now, hey, uh, delete your comment. Yeah, like delete your comment right now because uh, we figured it out. It is what it is. It's it's a casual game of hero clicks. It does not matter that much. So calm down. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have shield agent choose sidestep from Steve. Steve will sidestep. Let's see. Where does he want to go? Do you want to go back? I don't know if he wants to go back too far. Shield agent could go there. We, we still just want to make sure that we get a get that line off on this guy. Okay, so we can still see it from there, which is cool. So that's one. We can running shot to there. Get that direct dag, as the kids say. Need me some direct dag. Do this. Um, so yeah, we can have Bucky running shots. Yeah, the kids always talking about diagonal lines. Say the direct dag. You know how it is. Uh, is it after resolution? Get out of my line of fire, resolution man. I'm trying to okay. watch Halo and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. You're my direct dag, bro. Uh, yeah, let's have the Winter Soldier running shot to here. He'll shoot at Booster, and do I have multiple targets? Of course I don't. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'll just shoot a booster. We'll try to... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go for the, the booster shot. It's, uh, I mean, it's pretty high numbers. Um, That'll hit a 20. So I think that's the high number we needed to ping booster for one whole damage. I think I'm a 21 if you're shooting through hindering. Uh, here's the thing, though. I don't ignore it, so you're right. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, we'll perplex up the attack value on the shield agent. We'll have Captain America, a.k.a. Steve Rogers, perplex up the attack value on the steel shield agent. And the shield agent will... what? What's it called? He'll energy explosion targeting... Amazo. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, oh with God. the 12 attack... Yeah. We've got 19s and 18. Got a lot of numbers in there. Yeah, we got, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, with 12 attack, we're going to need some big numbers. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> uh, do I, do himself, I have bro. it? Do I have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? I don't. Oh, so. that crosses, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be three damage, no super senses, no nothing. To be fair, my shield agent is deader, deader than dead. Um, man, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. I like that. Big fan. Colossal fan. Man, it's going to be hard clicking all these dials. Uh, the well, it's okay. Here, let me help you out. Uh, let's see. This fate, he can go like this. Uh, let's double check. That fate is actually still alive. I think Amazo also dies. He's at 40. Probably. 
on two, his, three. Yeah, he didn't yeah share maybe he's dead. He didn't share. Yeah, here, let me help you. With, uh... <laughs> uh, and then GL, and then uh, oh, what yeah. is it called? Adam. I guess he already did Adam. Okay. And then my shield agent goes. Blah! He dies from the two Mystics damage that he then takes. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, that's a good way to die. That is literally the greatest, uh, I mean, the greatest yeah. thing he'll ever do. So, yeah. yeah, big fan, big fan, big fan. Uh, Fate's got ESD all the way through. That's such a bummer. That's so lame. Uh, that's our two actions so far. Two solid actions and some man actions right there. The Adam. What's he looking at right now? Oh, now he has regular stealth. Okay, the Adam can go F himself. Awesome. Very cool. How neat. Uh, still in my way. Sweet. Cool. Thanks. Let's... Uh, I guess we'll try to free up another guy. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Running shots. We'll carry the Winter Soldier with us. Ah. Carry him there. And we'll shoot Micron with Bucky. Okay. Wait, with Sam? 11 to a 17. Oh, with Sam. Yeah, sorry. 11 to a 17. That'll miss. Shame. Shame. Sam can't hit. Sam cannot hit for missing. I tell you what. He is just bad. That's okay. All right. Let's try to sidestep breakaway with the Citizen V. Aha! Of course not. It's a one. I do have plasticity. Uh, let's see. That was so. one. He also had plasticity. Oh. Uh, does plasticity yeah. work against plasticity now? I can't remember with the new PAC. I think it might be one of the powers that does. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Let's see. Cap. A nine speed. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's enough to... Get him to the steps. Oh. So we'll get him to the steps. Is that ESD? Um, Peggers. I'm guessing ESD. Oh, it's ESD. Yeah. So you got ESD right now. Yeah. Let's see. It's one, two, three, four actions so far. We have two more. See if we can make some nifty actions that count. Get our sidestep. We are at the very least a 12 attack. Sorry, an 11 attack with Citizen V to your 19, which is an 8, which is not reassuring. We can sidestep Toughest Girl in Brooklyn uh, to there. Let's see. Uh, Peggers, she's an 8 speed, which is not a 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We might as well just keep her with her boo. It's a weird the captains. We have one action Becky left. Becky Barnes is throwing. Not I know, just... right? It's like a left straight. Why would you punch with right your left side. with someone who's clearly on yeah, your right side? It's yeah, like, it's really confusing. It's zero. Uh, Becky like Barnes. A Roman Reigns dive punch, Superman punch, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it is. Uh, Becky Barnes is going to sacrifice herself to shoot the final fate or the main Doctor Fate. Um, she is an 11 for 2, which will kill him if she somehow hits. Mm. So we're just gonna, we're gonna try for that as our last action. She got that good 4 range. So let's see, uh, that will hit a 19, sure enough. Uh, Dr. Fate will prob it though. Cause this is oh, the fair OG enough. real Dr. Fate. The OG Fate. Uh, that'll hit an 18, so it'll miss by 1 for poor... A Becky Barnes. I was getting excited because I thought Fate had token. Pen Sai, but it's just in cab. This guy, this guy, this guy. Uh, War Machine, he doesn't have pucks anymore. All right, cool. So yeah, we'll just clear them, folks. And we'll say it is your go. We're also going to clear Citizen V. Yes. All right. All Calder's still clearing. I'm going to start rolling my Justice League. That's going to take forever again. So we'll do fate in the back. No. We'll do the two fates on the steps. No. We'll do booster gold by his lonesome. No. Uh, let's do... Does Adam have it? 
Yes. Uh, so we will do... Oh, wait. That guy's not dead. What am I doing? Uh, we'll do the main fate and Adam. Ooh, one of them got it. So let's take a token off of Micron because he's the only one that won't be able to act this turn unless I detoken him. Um... Then we've got Green Lantern and Other Fate. One of them succeeded. Let's... Hey, getting whole two successes this turn. Look yeah. at this guy. Uh, Ooh, kind of is a that deal. fireworks or gunshots kind of in the deal. background? I live in Omaha, so I can't tell. Well, you are in America, so who knows? We'll take one off of Batman. Do you sell fireworks in, uh, in Nebraska year-round? Not or is that no. not, not allowed? Okay, no. I didn't think so. It's one of the other That's things South we is. let allowed to sell them year round. Yeah, we let other states make money off of our citizens, just like gambling yep. and marijuana and all the other. Anyhow, <laughs> we're playing hero clicks, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. Right, while we're got... dipping into real world talk, we got a copyright strike for using Indian Outlaw. I just got the email on that. Looks like the video got uploaded to YouTube. Wow. Uh, so that's good. All yeah. Like, no, right. All five seconds of it. That's. Super cool, YouTube. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, keep, take your turn. Take your uh, turn. This lets fine. people know when we're playing the Thursday Throwdown. But yeah. yeah, yeah, they can copyright. So actually, all of our it's, it's actually a little sad because uh, Ben Jones won't be able to watch it on YouTube if he watches it on YouTube because oh, really? it's now no longer you can't watch in Australia. Yeah, oh, he'll Australia and New Zealand use a VPN. I know. Um, right? That brings us to this video sponsored Nord VPN. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. We don't. <laughs> That doesn't exist. We don't have that. Not yet. They will. Once they, they'll they eventually sponsor everyone. Uh, yeah. I don't have to pick giving them power action to do nothing. Anymore. Nice. So, yes, you don't. That was nice and easy. It looks like Booster Gold is going to double perplex his defense again and just shoot at Steve Rogers from where he's at. Ah, okay. So it's a 10 to an 18. Oh my gosh, of course you're hitting that. For, for five. For One, five. two, three, four, five. That'll kill Steve. He'll go to his last non KO click. We'll bring out the living legend die. Tap it a couple of times. Get a four. He'll heal up. One, two. Give him a token to signify that he living legended did it. Living legend did it. Um, I feel like I can take out War Machine this turn if I'm smart. Let's have the Atom make Batman Beyond tiny. And then... Okay. We'll have Dr. Fate attempt to shoot the Atom... Or shoot uh, War Machine. With a 10 for 3. Okay. You move Doctor Fate back a square. Or was he? No, he was. He was here, right? Was he there? Oh, okay. No, you moved and put the token Batman on. Batman okay. was in that hindering. Yeah. Um, oh, gotcha. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ten to uh, seventeen. Say we're taking hindering. So ten to an eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Because hindering. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, bro. These are some good rolls. For yeah, that'll do. And that'll deal in War Machine. Sadly, oh, War Machine. Uh, yeah, he was on his last click. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, he was on his end. He was on his last click. Sadly, he just missed all his attacks. So, one of the uh, best figures, if not arguably the best figure on the team, has done less than my shield agent, my fifteen point shield agent. Yeah, that's so. very true. Uh, let's and that's that's just all luck. That's just how hero click is. We'll sidestep Green Lantern to here, carrying Doctor Fate. And that's all, because I, I want to be able to do things with the other people. So he'll carry Dr. Fate to here, and okay. then he's going to try and Psychic Blast. Let's go after Sam Wilson, the Falcon. That's a good call. So an 11 into the 18 for... 18. Oh, wait, no. It is a it is a 12, because I've got ranged combat expert. A 12 for 3, Ooh, nice. plus the enhancement, so 12 for 4 with Psychic Ooh, Blast. Very nice. That's a terrible roll. Um, Luckily, I have this. I will miss, yeah. Guy right Thankfully. Here. 
Mr. Dr. Fate. Oh, she has prob. Yeah. That one will hit. Before you say one, two, three, four. It's the same on click five. All right, that is an action token for that. Not okay. the worst, not the worst, but not good. And that Dr. Fate acted, that Green Lantern acted. Um, let's sidestep this Dr. Fate. Do I want to get him down here? Yeah. Whoops. Let's sidestep him down here. Let's have... Citizen V has... Uh... I'm at reflexes right now. I'm at reflexes. Okay. Well, because I, I don't think I've used this Dr. Fate this turn. Pretty sure I shot with him last turn. So we will have him... After sidestepping, he will. Well, okay. Hey, oh yeah. Hey, okay. Yeah. Hey, oh. oh yeah. You're right. Yeah. I'm getting confused with all the fates and where they are. Yeah. It's just. Whoa. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, the other right. one's I'm with you. Uh, he's I'm gonna with try you. Yeah. and not incapacitate. Just shoot eleven into the seventeen for Ooh. three. Yeah. Ooh, that will hit uh, toughness, so it's one, two, and that'll be all they wrote for Citizen V, since he already living legend did 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 did. All right, now I've got, oh, that's one, two, three, four with booster gold, and I'm down some fates, so I should probably check that. Am I, oh, I'm only oh, down one. Oh, you still have three, so yeah, you're only down at, one. Yeah, and I do yeah. still have leadership with Batman Beyond. So I'm actually rocking the same amount of... You're the uh, same, yeah. Stuff. Um, yeah, let's do some real dirty work. We'll move... We'll have this Dr. Fate move here, carrying the other one. Okay. And then something that I forgot to do last turn, uh, Booster Gold has this free barrier oh, i hate you so much he's you are now place. my least favorite person on the planet <laughs> he's gonna place the two right there <sighs> what a douchebag <laughs> what a massive douchebag some dirty I'll dirty say it. Uh, simeon bruce is a complete douchebag you can <laughs> add that to our intro what does sam wilson have rocking on his defense right now uh he is a what the frick I, when I hit alt, it's upside down. The cards are all upside down when I hit alt right now, so I'm very confused. But yeah, I believe it super senses toughness, and since he moved during his last turn, he has plus two defense. Okay. But for some reason, when I hit alt, the card is upside down, and I and I cannot. Yeah, I cannot fix that. And this is where the guy who is in charge of the mod goes and tells us, "Well, actually, it's a super easy way to fix a yeah. why it's upside down." And I'll be like, "Well, I don't know." Because I'm playing yeah, the game now, and I can't fix it now, so I don't know. But I am looking we're, forward to figuring out how to fix that. I have no clue. To, this. to be honest, we, we haven't really tried to learn Tabletop Simulator. That is fair, yeah. Um, uh, I don't care to. Batman Beyond is going to charge. Even though we are the most successful Tabletop Simulator uh, series on YouTube. The, Hero yeah, Clicks wise The only. Uh, big caveat. Big caveat, Hero Clicks wise um, Yeah. He's gonna charge there. I think I'm I'm sticking with his shape change. I think. So yeah, mm -hmm. we're just gonna do an eleven for three. Are you now? On good old Bucky. Oh, that'll hit. For two after One, two. Um, and then. <laughs> Still upside down. Because that I hurt me so much. Okay. Adam will tag along, I believe. I don't know if that's sure. a good idea. Ten for two. Is that any good? Does Bucky got combat reflexes now. Uh Bucky does. He's a seventeen combat reflexes. I guess I might Him and Sam would both be a nineteen from close. I'm gonna move him to here. I'm gonna have him place here. Right? Your cards are upside down for me too. It's a headache. Why are they upside down? 
I don't know. Is it upside, upside down. down for me? This has never happened. This has never happened in our 52 weeks of tabletop simulator. Oh wow, 52. Wow, nice. Uh, this has never happened. All right, by all means, continue. Sorry, I'm just like brain short circuiting because it's like, why is this the way that it is? Ten for two. Very, it's very annoying though. It's very annoying. I'll say that. Oh, I think I already made Batman beyond tiny this turn to shoot at War Machine. Yeah, you did. Okay, so yeah, you did. I can't really do any more with that. Mm -hmm. Um. Acted, acted. Yeah, yeah. I guess yeah, yeah. I will just. Two, four, six, eight. I'll just phase this last fate up into somewhere where he can do something. Amazing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. All wow. That, and I didn't even give him the action token for phasing. Um, yep. One of these fates carried the other, so one of them is going to clear. I don't know which. Yeah. I'll say that one. That's fine. This fate was just carried, so he clears. Micron clears, because I can't really think of what to do with him this turn. That is, that is my whole stratagem. Late oh, bear. Nice. Nice. Uh, we have a leadership with Peggy. Only leadership we have. Oh, it is a six, though, so we'll take one off the captain. Uh, Steve is not next to Steve Rogers. That is, is not next to anybody. Falcon no longer has leadership. Bucky no longer has leadership. Uh, Becky Barnes, toughest girl in Brooklyn. It's going to sidestep two here. Mm -hmm. uh, she has four range. One, two, three, four. And she will now shoot Micron. 11 for 2. Uh, I don't think he's colossal anymore. Oh, he's not colossal anymore. You're right. You're a scumbag. Yeah, Except Batman Beyond is tiny! So, oh. you will still true. shoot him. No matter <laughs> I forgot about what that. it is. Complete and utter fool. All right. 11 for 2. We need a 6 to get rid of this guy. Hey, there's our magical 6. Cool, Becky. Let me see if Very I cool. have. Let's see here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. There we go. Uh, no, I don't think I have a line of fire for that. Two clicks this time. Two we'll whole damage, yeah. Take micro. All right. Oh, uh, good job, back. Why'd you hit Steve? <laughs> Where'd he go? What in the frickin' fricky frick frack? What is this? I don't even know where he is. <laughs> to be fair. Oh, there he is. He's all the way up there in space. <laughs> to be fair, he had it coming. Uh, <laughs> not where he was, though. He was, like, here or something, I think. Yeah. He got That's outwit right now? Yeah. Okay. This is fine. This is fine, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead. Bucky with his newfound Battle Fury. I guess he'll flurry on what? a man beyond. Yeah. He is a flurry battle fury right now. Bucky is the big mad, as the kids say. Fight the mood. Oh, I hate myself for even saying that. Uh, let's see. That'll hit in 19. For the Buckster. Two after toughness. Yeah. Uh, for four, because Sam has not power right now. Uh, okay. For five, right? Yeah, Sam's gotten power. All right, second attack with the flurry with the Buckster. Uh, that is another crit hit from James Buchanan Barnes. Good nice. lord, and uh, not from James, but second one this turn though. Pretty wild. All uh, right, then we're gonna give an action token, a pushing token, the Buckster. Ah, once again, you've toppled everything over. <laughs> That time, I kind of did it on purpose. Uh, <laughs> oh, someone just disappeared. Simeon, Simeon, Simeon. Maybe not. Nope. Uh, Batman Beyond's right there. I don't see anyone that would have disappeared. Actually totally, anyway. Steve again, and that's how bad oh, the game is. Yeah. How cold. How cold. 
Uh, I think Steve is a full dial sidestep. Yes, he is. Ah, it it genuinely hurts my eyes looking at it upside down all this time. Like, I know you can't see what I see, but it genuinely is is bothering me so much. Anyways, anyways, uh, it's one two actions. Uh, let me have this cluster ball of things over here. Uh, we're not a big fan of booster. Um, we can do an uh, destroy action to get rid of that, and then we can punch booster with somebody else. So let's go ahead, up Steve. Traverse to there. Outwit. Boosters. Let's say... Uh, let's see. We can either try to get a damage off or... Uh, try to just hit him for one. Uh, hitting him for one. He... Well, let's see. Now nah, let's move Steve back. I don't know if we need the outwit. Maybe we won't need the outwit. Maybe we'll just... Whatever. I think our bigger problem is actually the Green Lantern. So Steve is here. Let's sidestep him here for a direct diag a direct dag on the green lantern as the kids say he'll outwit the esd on green lantern this is why nord then we'll have steve animal. take a shot never listen to us or sponsor us yeah because we we know the the hip phrases like direct dag that is correct the direct dag uh let's see that'll hit a 16 i think the hindering gives you the oh, plus one you need true. to escape yeah yeah yeah, so that's one, two, three actions. Yeah, so we'll have Steve go ahead, and by Steve, I mean the captain. Well, I guess just power action to lamely destroy this piece of blocking, I suppose. <laughs> and then Peggy will charge to here. Sure. She'll yeah. be an 11 oh, against. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. If we want to punch booster, we want to like almost guarantee a kill on a, on a thing. Let's let's punch booster, I suppose. It'll be eleven to twenty. We need an eight. We need something pretty high, pretty ridic, as the kids say. Uh see what happens. Another crit hit, you say. Uh nope, that is a That's five. That would have missed a miss. fate. Anyways. It was almost a crit miss. Uh nope. He needs to push the token. Uh and then yeah, it is your turn. I will clear Sam Wilson. The Falcon. That's your go. Let's see. Did I knock my dice away? Where are my dice? Oh, um, um, that, that's your dice. I think I just completely destroyed my dice somewhere. Um... So we've got a roll for all of the Justice League things again. There you go. Uh, so we'll go with Dr. Fate and Booster Gold, the two that are adjacent to the Pegster. Ah, one of them succeeded. We'll take one off of this Dr. Fate down here. And then we'll okay. go with the two Dr. Fates next to Booster. Or close to him, I guess. Ah, we'll take one off of the Booster. Ah, this is a garbage. Trash. Not a fan. Not a fan. At the very least, he cannot use Enhancement unless he makes a breakaway roll. I suppose That's we should true. be slightly happy about that. Um, we'll roll with... The two Doctor Fates down here. Mm -hmm. Then we'll roll with Green Lantern and the Atom because I think Disgusting. Micron is gone and Batman Beyond is gone. So yeah, Micron is gone. Yeah, Green Lantern and the Atom are the only two left with it. Okay. Fairly successful. Two out of eight. Yeah, two out of eight ain't bad. Um, yeah. Let's... Huh. Could do that... I don't know. I'm kind of getting tired of that old Steve Rogers down there. So 
let's do a TK with this Dr. Fate. Oh, uh, yeah. How can I forget TK? Very cool. Very nifty. Yeah. Well, TK, my... All that work we did to get up there, too. <laughs> All of that work we did to get up there hurts hurts so bad. Um, Ugh. You inevitably then... miss. I think we'll carry this doctor, the doctor fate that didn't TK, will carry the one that did TK. So we'll go like sure, this. Sure, sure. And then okay. Booster Boy is going to double perplex his defense again, running shot to here, mm. shoot at Steve. Still, still going to miss that 18, though. Damage. The umpteenth time missing the 18. Uh, what a loser. Booster Gold. But No wonder people like Green Lantern more. But Booster Gold has but what? Skeet's Booster Gold. Probability fan, control, so yes. He's gonna, yeah, he's going to prob it. Uh -huh. And he uh, still misses because he's a loser and no one likes him. <laughs> much, much worse. Uh, I didn't give him a second action <laughs> for that, so he needs he needs that. Yeah. Uh, mm. That Dr. Fate is kind of sunk. We can... Let's have Green Lantern. Let's see. Sam has Toughness Super Senses. Toughness Super Senses, yeah. And he didn't move last turn, so it's no plus two. Okay. Well, <clears throat> just Toughness Super Senses. We'll have Green Lantern uh, take a shot at him. I would like to get okay. my prob on it, but that's fine. Uh, so it's just a 12 into a 17. Ba blam. Well, hit that super senses. Sure might hit. And here. Potentially four. A big five or six. Okay, that'll hit for four. So one, two. He'll go Living Legend to his last click. Bra bra bra. We'll heal up a one. Not great. Not great. Give Sam a token to show that he living legend did 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 did. All right. We will sidestep Green Lantern back one square, and then we'll sidestep my fate to that square, and fate will take a shot at the Falcon as well. Okay. Also, well, he's just a printed 11, so he's an 11 for three. No special attack or yep. anything going on. That'll oh, miss. miss. He will prob it himself. Oh, I'll still miss. No, I'll hit a 17. Uh, all right, Sam. Super senses. Mm. Ooh. Good. Good job, Sam. And let's see. A lot of respect, Sam. A lot of respect. That was my sidestep, my other sidestep. Uh, the Atom can do what? Standard, tiny, you climb stealth, power action. I guess since... Well, that's not a power action, so no. Um, Yeah, I guess let's just have this Dr. Fate, who's just standing here, take a shot at Bucky. Okay. Just a 10 for 3. 17. Oh, yeah, that'll kill Bucky for sure. For 3. Click the upside down card, shall we? Yeah, on this combo reflexes click. Yep, that's Bucky. This is all she wrote for the Buckster. Right. The space he goes. The Atom. Isn't he supposed to be on his stealth click? He should be on his last click. Yeah, he took three got, damage yeah, from the energy explosion. explosion. Uh, yeah. I don't think he's doing a whole lot, to be honest. I think he kind of mm. just likes that range that he's got built up there. So that was Booster, those three guys. I used Booster's Perplex... I don't think I've got anything left. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll move uh, the atom to here. 
will go like one, two, three. He'll go there next to oh, good old okay. Backy Barnes. Uh, Barnes? Toughest girl in Brooklyn, you mean? <laughs> yes, you are next to Becky Barnes, the toughest girl in Brooklyn. Even she's upside down. I hate it. I don't I don't know how to... I'm going to quit talking about it. Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm assuming there's something weird with your screen. Uh, your yeah, settings, but something. I have no idea. I did something somehow. It's definitely my fault because they, they didn't start upside down. Uh, all right. Oop, blop. Um, let's see. Leaderships that matter is none of them because no one would be technically adjacent for leaderships. So, yeah, that is where we are at in the world. I think this turn, it is most important for us to try to get rid of Fates. Simeon still has eight characters on his team, so we can totally use all his actions. He has too much of the Justice League shenanigans going on. So I think uh, deleting fates, deleting uh, things of that nature, heavy attackers and such, uh, this can be a really big turn, this could be a really bad turn, depending on, of course, dice rolls. Now, the Atom is what, 17 Super Senses right now. Uh, Becky Barnes, toughest girl in Brooklyn, is an 11 for 2 with close combat experts, so we will have her try to punch the Atom. She only needs a 5 to hit. This will probably be our highest roll of the turn. Uh, she rolled a 7, which is an average roll, so I guess the Atom will get his super senses to see whether or not mm -hmm. Becky Barnes, toughest girl in Brooklyn, will kill him. Hmm. You know what? She probably should have had two tokens way before this. No, I'm going to take that back. She probably should have had two tokens before that, because I don't remember her ever clearing, to be honest with you. Oh, she did shoot Mike right. last turn, but... Oh, yeah, she shot did. Micron last turn, and she well, she shot someone else before that, so that doesn't seem right. Uh, yeah, no, nah, it doesn't seem right. You want to place your barriers? Yeah, I forgot. That was my okay. after actions resolve. <laughs> I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, it's sweet. Not We're gonna have you Sam. Quickly. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I really don't care. We'll have Sam charge there, and he'll punch Green Lantern. It is a ten to a sixteen. Hmm. Uh, that will hit. Another seven. I will prob it with my Dr. Fate. Prob it with Fate! At the very least, Sam moves, so he has plus one, or plus two defense, because that will miss pretty bad. Uh, next up, Steve Rogers is going to sidestep to here, you big stupid loser, um, and outwit the damage power on Booster Gold, so that will get rid of his Perplex wow. and his Prob, which is pretty nifty. And then we're going to have the captain charge. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to have him charge to here. Uh, but the captain is actually going to punch Dr. Fate, I've decided. Okay. Okay. So an 11 through 17, uh, that'll still miss. I, yeah. So this turn is going about how I thought it would. Not good. So... That is all we can do. Except for Steve can punch. Except he as no one to damage unless he crit hits. So we'd rather just clear Becky. Uh, yeah, and clear Steve. This sucks. That was bad. But <laughs> what are you going to do? Once again, this turn could have been really big. We could have got rid of Fate. We could have deleted Green Lantern. But I don't think we're in such a terrible spot. To depends facts. on my, my like, Justice I don't League rules. It depends on your Justice League rules, really. Yeah. Does, yeah. So if he makes none of them, uh, he's got one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. You know, he's got eight, so we'll see. Yeah. We'll he go makes none with, of them uh, out of eight. Uh, either way, Booster is slightly nerfed, like in the ever so slightest. Yeah, that's true. So that's okay, I guess. I do not like yeah. Yeah, having that outwit get rid of my things. Uh, we'll do the top two yeah. fates. Ah, uh, uh, see, that's already not good. I think I've got to take one off of Booster. Yeah, see, that's not good. And then we'll do Booster for and us. the fate nearest Peggy Carter. Or, yeah, Peggy Carter. Okay. We'll do the... Let's do Green Lantern and Bottom Fate. And then we'll do Fate and Adam. No. Nothing. A whole lot of nobody doing... 
We got one out of eight. That's not bad. It's just not, not great. Let's. Let's have my my only active fate. Not only active fate, but my fate who is over here that can do something. We'll have him attempt to punch the falcon. He needs a okay. lot, but we'll try it. Uh, we'll prob it with the Doctor Fate who has prob. Okay. Uh, still miss, thankfully. Yeah. Stay alive. Stay alive. Um. Then we'll try and sidestep with Green Lantern. No. Nope. We'll try and sidestep with Doctor Fate. No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, nice. Let's see. This Doctor Fate can go somewhere. Do I risk a breakaway roll? Steve Rogers has combat reflexes. Yeah, so I got to risk a breakaway roll with booster. I've been successful with my breakaway rolls so far, so let's try it. That is true. Wow. Oh. I saw that dice go into the air as a two and then just spin <laughs> and then land as a you two. You see, it doesn't matter how many times you click it because it's been randomized, as they say. No offense, bro. <laughs> Just clicking it more makes me feel good. It's sort of like how when you you shake your dice more when you roll them. If you just sort of like pick them up, pop them down. Are they kind of random? Yeah, they're random enough, but I'm a good trick. Let's we'll phase to somewhere. We'll phase to here with this Dr. Fate carrying booster. Okay. Oh, that's a good call. That's a really good call. Yeah, because you were going to try smart, and light him up. Smart, smart, smart. Uh, oh, yeah, we were we were going to annihilate, crucify booster gold. We'll drop him there. Yeah, that's, that's really rough for and us. Then... That's super annoying. That's why. That's another one of the main reasons I wanted to try to kill that Doctor Fate because he is the only one with an action token. So this is once again, if I would have killed that Doctor Fate, etc. This is how the turn would have went. Um, but yeah, like those missed attacks really, really affects the game. Who would have thought that a, a vital part of the game, missed rolling attacks. dice, would affect later parts of the game? My missed attack. My missed my attacks. missed attack with the captain. Yeah, missed attacks. Um... <laughs> It does. Okay. It's that's why Hero Clicks yeah, is no. nothing like chess. Who the thunk? It's Who the not thunk? even a little bit. It really, like yeah, chess it's true. Because dice rolls. It's true. Because in chess, it's just like, no, absolutely, my knight will take your pawn. Period. Like it's like, okay, right. that's non-debatable. It's just what will happen after that. Instead, yeah, there's no we there's branched no off that's to similar. an alternate. There's no strategy that could be yeah. even remotely similar. Exactly. Uh, to and now we're in an alternate that's, reality. It's not even really where I didn't do board. any damage last turn. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. Like. This is it. Every every hero Clicks game is completely different because dice exist. So um, micro or not micro. Every hero Clicks game Adam is in theory, as the chess losers say, will attempt to punch. Answered theory. Becky Barnes. Yeah, you can. She's an eighteen combat reflexes. You freaking loser. That's what I thought, nerd. It's close. Yeah. It's a seventeen. <laughs> Only off by. You telling yourself three. that three. Uh, three. Let's see. Yeah. And then last action that I can do this turn is going to be moving this Dr. Fate over to here. Really? You really don't want me to kill your fates? One, two, yeah. Phasing him over. Um, mm. Yeah, that's everything. Uh, I guess I could have positioned this barrier different, but it's fine. You probably I'm actually, have, yeah. I'm okay with you killing certain fates because yeah. you'll take damage. And at this point, it's right. really hard to damage you for some reason. But that is all I can do. Um, Doctor Fate with Prob and Green Lantern both clear. Okay. 
Yeah, this is really tough. See now, the the next roughest part is Sam can't afford to move this turn. Uh, so it would have been nice if he could have killed more people last turn. So he's still just 10. He's a 10 on a 16. Uh, leaderships, do they matter right now? No, no one is adjacent for proper leadershipping uh, currently, which really sucks. So let us see what we can do. Uh, once again, this elevated platform, I think it was a poor idea for me to even put figures on it. Uh, that was like another gameplay mistake. Should have... yeah. Realize, I a, I yeah, I put all of my dudes flight. with flight is just wild, and yeah. Um, yeah, let's have Becky swing on the Atom. She is a 12. Let's hope for just a simple 5 roll, nothing crazy. There's her average 7 again. I That's Barnes, toughest girl in Brooklyn. Uh, oh, yeah, she only needs a 5. I'm going to save my prob. Yeah, no, Super it's... senses. Oh, okay, cool. So we did finally kill the Atom. That's not that he was like the most important figure right now, because he was just sort of tied with the Baxter there. Uh, but that does free Becky up to then uh, sidestep to here to maybe make Simeon have to make a choice, I guess, because maybe she'll be something. Who knows? Um, next up, Peggers. She can get to this fate. She can get and potentially kill one fate. And then Steve Rogers can then move up and then outwit Booster Gold. So that's what we're going to go with. So Peggers, one, two, three, four. Two here as to not cut off. Total lines of fire. 11 to a 17. Try to get rid of this fate. She will take a damage. I think I'm fine with that. I haven't looked at her dial. I think I'm fine with that. Yeah, that'll hit. Kill that fate. So she will take one pen. Um, Yeah, takes her off that, but it puts her on in power, which is... Nifty. Quake and power is a neat idea. Uh, Steve, when go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to here. Sidestep to here. Let's give Peggy and Steve tokens. Peggy, save, and let's outwit Booster Gold's Perplex Prob power again. Special damage power. Uh, at the very least, keeps him from being ridiculous amounts of ridiculous and then sam is gonna have to just i don't like these 11s he cannot move though so he's just gonna have to make the choice to punch green lantern and hope for the hope for the six um yeah hope for the six and then he's got a prob on it so this is uh a lot of faith we're putting in the six that will hit i will prob it with dr fate speaking of fate so Oh, wait, you said faith, not fate. Uh, and then we hope for something good. Fudge, see what I'm saying? We put all that faith in the six, and now Sam is probably dead next turn. That was rough. Uh, he already has one of those. He gets a push token. So now we have to hope for more crazy good luck. Whatever. Uh, we'll clear the captain. This trait has not come up once this game. Either one, whether I chose, because captain hasn't made a single attack yet, which is <laughs> nifty. Oh, he has made one attack. Excuse me. Guys made one attack, but it missed. Uh, and then Simeon is your go. He's your go. Right. And a oh, man. Oh, luckily, man, oh, man. I my actions don't really matter anymore. The fate plus actions don't really matter anymore because I'm down to only five characters. Oh, no, they don't. Because uh, you're down to six. five people. Yeah. I guess there so. there is one character. Uh, so let's see, two to four characters. So I do still have enough actions for everyone, but. Um, Anyhow, we will roll Justice League with Dr. Fate and Booster Gold. That's neither. We will yeah. go Dr. Fate and Green Lantern. Ah, uh, see, so this is rough. Uh, we'll take that off of... Oh, we have to take it off Booster Gold. There's no way yeah. I'll let him just sit there again. Mm -hmm. Um and then we'll go the last two Dr. Fates. Okay. So, all right. Let's see. I do have two lightning bolts. I could, I think fairly easily make that shot. Um, 
alternatively, one, two, three, four, five. I do have some fates left. Uh, but how badly do I want? Yeah, okay. I think I know what I'm doing. So we'll have... Luckily, I'm out of most of my free actions. I can't do a ton of the free action-y stuff anymore. We'll have Booster Gold running shot to here. And he'll dual target Steve Rogers and uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America. A 10 okay. into numbers for 4 damage. That'll hit 17s. 17s will hit them both. Sam needs to roll super senses before you divide damage. Okay, so it's looking like it's all to Mr. Rogers here. Yeah. yeah. So that'll damage. be the end of Steve. Uh, then we will... That's see. really rough. I'd really like to get this green lantern out of here. So let's have this Dr. Fate try and punch. Uh, he'll try and punch the Falcon Captain America. Uh, that'll hit. Falcon's going to try to hit Super Senses here. Okay. What was that? For How three. much? Three, one, two, two. Yeah, that's Falk. Nice. We are already living legend. Did did did. All right, that's exactly yeah. I really needed those last two turns to pop yeah. off for me because then it's this is, this is all she wrote here. Because then uh, we'll sidestep here with Green Lantern. Having never never made a six against Green Lantern is probably the roughest bit. But <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> that was, uh, so he is a twelve for four because of enhancement. He will psychic blast Mrs. Becky Barnes. Uh, this is Peggy Carter, actually. Oh, Peggy Carter. Uh, that'll hit an 18. Uh, she is a 19 for hindering. Do you ignore it? Oh, I doubt it because I'm DC. Uh, I'll yeah. prob it with Booster, who got his prob recently renewed. Yeah, that's true. Another six. Oh. So that'll just miss. Uh, we will have this fate here. Actually, yeah, he has to because the other one's double tokened. We'll have this fate here. Take a shot at Becky. Becky yeah. Sean Barnes. Not Peggy. Oh, that'll miss. He will prob it himself. Okay. Oh, that one will hit, which is a shame. Here goes the toughest girl in Brooklyn. Sidestep. Let's see. Let's go. How do I want to sidestep? Because we've got that charge quake, which isn't great. Uh, Booster Gold will double perplex up his own defense. Yeah, and of course. I think all sidestep one, two, carrying the other Doctor Fate along with me. So go like that uh, he needs an action token because he's shot and then that is everyone that can do anything because this other fate has to clear okay right on let's have the captain punch that fate so we need a six uh, we cannot get it. That's fine. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> uh, why? Why would we? And then we'll have Peters. She will charge to here, purely punching GL. Okay. Do to do 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 do. Uh, that one will hit for sure. So we did finally damage oh. GL for three damage there. Probably with booster gold for a crit miss. <laughs> I really do just, yeah, I mean, it's in your yeah, face, okay. right? Uh, no, that'll actually hit for a nine. Okay, and then that's your turn. That's it. That's all we got. We, uh, the captain can't hit for hitting stake. Um, it's true. Uh, neither of the remaining figures have hit living legend yet, though, so there is that. 
Um, they have bots. That is true. So, like, Captain is full dial plus whatever, right? Yeah. But so is Booster. And then we got Fates to chew through, which really gives yeah. you a lot of free damage. The Mystics, so, yeah. Might. It's, um, we will... I really needed to hit Booster earlier on. Any of the attacks hitting Booster would have been super nice. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Also, well, also it taking until this turn to take out Green Lantern, who is my only pen side. That was rough, yeah. Um, yeah. We'll roll for this top fate. And then we'll roll for booster and adjacent fate. All right, we'll take that one off of this Dr. Fate. Since I'm rolling two at a time, I can't really claim... Like, oh, this one was Dr. Fates, so Booster can remove it. So I have to right. choose a different pod to remove the tokens from. And then we will uh, yeah. roll for the last two Fates. Ah! <laughs> yeah, no. that's, yeah, that's good. Very helpful for, uh, for Mr. Bruce here. Very, very helpful. It's uncanny. Yeah, um, yeah, that's... Yeah, some people might even say that was yep. sickening. Um, yup. Let's. The captain has ESD, so let's. Uh, uh, yeah, seventeen ESD. So this is his easiest for you to hit when he's close. He's been trying to get himself damaged to get put on combat reflexes this whole game, but here. And I think we, we are where we are. This fate, and yeah. Then this fate here will try and punch 10 for 3. Yep. Sure. Another crit hit would be... And when he actually solid. makes an attack, it's going to be crazy. Man, when Cap actually hits an attack, it's going to be insane. Uh, 10 for 3, 17, that'll hit. 1, 2, 3. All Tim right. on, click 4. 17 combo reflexes, sidestep plus combat expert. And then... He's just going to blow past all this good stuff. My Dr. Fate with Sidestep is going to take a shot. It's a 11 yep. for 3 into an 18. That's yep. Hit an 18. Uh, so 1, 2, yep. 3 goes to there, goes to there. I will now Living Legend. This is where we get the big 6. Probably a 1 because fuck me. Uh, it's 2, so same thing. The 1. <laughs> So we've entered Nurse, uh, Nurse Captain America, where he's on click nice. five, where he is a 15 defense uh, with defend and two damage to support. So he's in his Nurse clicks, which I hate so much. Um, never once did I ever see this guy uh, pull out a med kit, this and like patch up D Man and Falcon and anyone else he was hanging out with when he was the captain. So don't know why he's got him. The flavor text is like defending America or some BS like that, but it's like no, no, he but never really used support. He never was like, yeah, I know, I get that, and that's really cool, and I like America, trust me. But uh, yeah, I uh, him not doing anything all game, and then he finally probably gets another turn to retaliate, and he's on nurse clicks. I very much not a fan. Got to give him the token to show that he living legend did did did. My favorite um, part yeah. is that. Uh, he will likely die if he kills more than one fate. So that's my favorite. Uh, part that is it. correct. He will die. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, you're right. I have to run. Uh, now it's a breakaway egg. booster. Yeah. So running, uh, shot, running shot, breakaway. He did get it, though. Go one square back. And yeah. He's just going to pick up that enhancement from the Dr. Fate. So yeah. he's a 10 for yeah. 4. Yep. Yep. That'll hit a 17. He'll have to prob it. A 5. So nothing there. He's going to double perplex up his own defense. If I didn't already say that. And then Dr. Fate will also attempt to shoot her. Okay. Okay. 10 into a 19 because of hindering. Oh, that's the wrong button. A 16. So nothing there as well. Um, whoops. I'm getting my keys mixed up. Uh, and then 
booster is going to mm -hmm. put these. I don't know if I can put a barrier in hindering. I think you can now. I think you can. I don't know. Doesn't feel right. That's fine. But I'll I'll attempt it. Yeah, it's and okay. Then... It would feel right if you just put me out of my misery. But uh, <laughs> now here we are. Uh, yeah. I wish I had more than ten attack. My highest attack value is an injured uh, doctor. Yeah. Phase. Let's see if the captain can finally make an attack against a fate. We'll see. Uh, he actually does. He does uh, get it. That is that will hit. I'll yeah. prob it with my doctor fate. You cannot actually prob that. Fun fact. Oh. It's, uh, let's rewind to the beginning of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to. Yeah. Hey, look. Look at that. It finally came up. Cap takes one damage. Your fate dies. Very nifty. Very cool. Uh, he'll get a second token. And I'll clear Pegster. And it's your go. All right. Uh, do I have sidestep right now? I do have sidestep. I will sidestep a whole one square closer because I don't want to give up my hindering bonus. That's pretty solid. Uh,. Only four Justice Leagues left. So we'll go Top Fate. We'll go Top Fate. We'll go Fate with Sidestep. We'll go Last Fate. And then we'll go Booster. Okay. It's actually a hard choice because Booster's got... He's got to, like, stick and move. He's got to keep moving. But my other fate has the better stats. So I'm going to take one off of Booster. And, yeah, he's just got to shoot at Peggy Carter again. Um, mm -hmm. I guess that does draw a line through Hindering. So he's going to running shot. He'll go one, two, three, four, five to here. Come on, Booster, you can do it. Uh, he'll go five, ugh, five to there, and then drop the fate behind him. So he'll be a 10 for four. Uh, that didn't help me, though, because that's, that's still crossing hindering. That's still going to be through hindering, yeah. Yeah, he'll have to go there. There you go, now that's you got it. Super lame. Um, I could double perplex my attack, but I just... I really need that defense boost. Yeah, you really do. Miss. 17 will miss. He has to prob it himself. There we go. A 9 will that hit. That one will hit for 4. 4. One, 2, 3. Uh, all white means it's a living legend time, so she'll go to here. Good dice. Hurrah. Uh, cool, that's actually pretty good. So, one, two, three. Is that full for this Peggy? Pick four? I don't think so. Pick four? No, pick four is back to top battle, actually. That's pretty solid. Pretty solid with the old pegs for them. <laughs> Alright, no living legends left. Uh, no living. Ah, oh, Jimmy, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> last action's gonna be this uh, untokened fate shooting at uh, John Walker. Uh, it's not John Walker, it's Steve. Uh, looks like U.S. Yeah. agent. I don't know. <laughs> might be John yeah. Walker. Yeah, that's that's the captain, though. Uh, does a 15 yeah, hit? I, I wish there was a John doesn't. Walker. I wish there was a John Walker in the uh, whatever set. In the, uh, yeah, that would last there's sense. not. Captain America in the Avengers set? Yeah, because he actually had the mantle of Captain America. Like, they made... Yeah. They didn't make like four or five people that have had the mantle of Captain America. In lieu, they made a bunch of people that had already had it, and they never made them like. Because we have a John Walker, and we only have one as Captain America. But like, we should have gotten like a Patriot as Captain America, a Patriot, not the Elijah Bradley, but the one from World War Two. You know, we should have. What was that for? What was why? For what reason? Why? It doesn't even. It doesn't even make sense. Uh... What? I was flicking this token stack that's all the way on the other side of the table. What is wrong? What's your deal? And What's it... your problem? See, and for some reason, when you just reset it like that, I finally can see all the colors again. Oh. Like, so when I start the game, oh, my stuff's not upside down anymore. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't get it. So 
I've secretly listener, had this power viewer, the whole time. Just so you guys, just so you guys know, I can never see my stats, my colors and stats. I always have to constantly represent. For some reason, it's just 100% white on this little top deal thing. But when something weird like this happens in the game, then for some reason I can see them again. So now all of a sudden, yeah, I can see that Cap's got sidestep, defend, support, all that jazz. Now I can finally see Simeon's colors and oh, stuff so as well. Calder's pretending that um, he was playing at a disadvantage the whole time. It is. No, I, I am. I am playing at disadvantage every single game. <laughs> that's Dude, that's literally what it is. That is how it looks for me. For some reason, when you make the game, even when I make the game, that's how it looks until something weird and wacky happens, and then I can see him. Copy so, all of our figures yeah. and smash them and then rewind time to fix it every time. I guess so. That's the word yeah. around I've found now. Uh, Peggy, she only has 8 speed. That really sucks. Whoa, 1, whoa. 2, 3, on. 4, 5, My Dr. Fate's probably six, the seven, attack. Eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> captain's dead. Yeah. John Walker is no more. He's Steve Rogers. Oh, sorry. John Isaiah Walker has never been the captain. Meant. Yeah. Oh, I hate you so much right now. Oh, I hate you so much right now. These barrier tokens, they go away. What? Peggy's going to charge to here. Uh, she'll punch. Why do my hey, you get Nimrod, I get this. You get <laughs> Nimrod, I get this. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, let's do 11 to a 20. Let's see, Peggy's going to prop that <laughs> leadership. A three. <laughs> oh. uh, that one will still miss. Peggy's gonna prob that using precision strike. Huh. Okay, oh. let's just go ahead. Uh, that will hit. A crit hit. Actually, you want to prob that with booster? Yeah, I'll, I'll prob that one. Okay, prob that with booster. Okay, uh, that will hit. Oh uh, no, wait. Let's double check. Oh, uh, that crit hits again somehow. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Uh, blink. Oh no! Uh, uh, blink. <laughs> Stop, serious. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't feel like playing this game to completion. We got work tomorrow. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was another installment of Thursday Throwdown. Thank you guys so much for watching, listening, all that jazz. Next time, Simeon is going to be building out of the Fantastic Four set. So that is going to be God Emperor Doom, whatever, Reed Richards of the Universe, the Doom Bots, the, what are they called, the Frightful Four, all that stupid fun stuff. I'm going to be building out of Spider-Man and Venom, Absolute Carnage. So, you know, that's like all the secret identity figures, like the fun spider chases. The Deathlock, I just started blasting, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys vote for those. Uh, if you writ out a, wrote out a comments, you can also make a vote. These are super recent sets. I guarantee you can think of a figure off the top of your head from these two sets. So please vote if you're going to leave a comment. Uh, if you don't, we're just going to ignore your comment, just so you know. Like, that's the more you know. Anyways, uh, I've been your host, Calder Ness. Simeon has been your Simeon, Simeon Bruce. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, happy trails.